Welcome to MSM News, your number one source for underground news in the Emerald City. According to the Washington State Employment Security Department's WARN report, Hard Rock Cafe is scheduled to lay off 66 workers when the restaurant closes its doors on December 1st. The international franchise first appeared in the downtown corridor in 2010 as a multi-story venue in the historic Liberty Building at 114 Pike Street. We sent our street team to uncover the story behind the headlines. The permanent shutdown comes after a series of high-profile merchants abandoned their rental leases in the area. In February 2022, local bakery Piroshki Piroshki took a noticeable leave of absence following a fatal shooting in front of the eatery. Ten months later, the restaurant reopened its 3rd Avenue and Pike Street location. In January, retail giant Nike shut its doors after more than 26 years, shocking downtown residents. During our investigation, we spoke with an employee at Hard Rock Cafe who asked to remain anonymous. He stated that some, but not all staff members have been offered a severance payment of roughly $2,600. Our source reported that workers were incentivized to relocate to sister Hard Rock Cafes outside of the state, yet very few, if any, expressed interest in that option. The announcement surprised several crew members who, like many residents and visitors of the downtown corridor, want to know why the location is closing. We spoke with 92-year-old Luella Stevens. She's a resident of Tulalip, Washington, and has dined at Hard Rock Cafes around the world. She had this to say about the Pike Street closure. I go down to Hard Rock, and it's going to close, and that's very sad. Uh, I came shopping for my friend in West, West Virginia. She's a Hard Rock fan, and uh, I will come back on another day shopping, bearing money to spend. <laughs> and. It's a beautiful day in Seattle, as always. What do you think about Hard Rock's decision? Sound off on our interactive blog by clicking the link in the bio. Thanks for tuning in to Medina Slice Media News.